Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a Disney pack with me and prep with me video. So I have some really exciting tips. You're gonna have to watch it all the way to the end because there's so much information spilling out of me. All of my magical mama precious tips are gonna be shared. We are talking about clothes, matching outfits, where to shop it, um, buying clothes on the cheap, Disney themed, and um, organizing your suitcase. I hope you're ready for us to put our heads together, live our magical mama lifestyle, and make a really smart plan. So watch this video all the way through. I'm gonna be doing a Main Street runway um, fashion show, showing you all the cute um, outfits I've come up with and like where to get them and stuff. That's one of my favorite things is Disney style and Disney princess style, maybe just a little bit. Um, so let's talk tips. Let's get into it. Okay, you guys, the first stop is gonna be Starbucks. I really wanna try one of their like summer surprise boba drinks. I think that's what it's called. Looking forward to a little taste test from that. And, and then we're headed to Ross. Let's find some adorable clothes from actual Disney on the cheap right now and gift it to my family for the vacation. It's gonna be so, let's head out. Hi, I would like to order the Summer Skies drink. Okay. And that's it. What size is that? Um, a venti. Okay. Thank you. Good stuff for you? Yeah, that'll be it. Okay, you guys, I just purchased the Summer Skies uh, boba drink from Starbucks and I want to give it a try. So let's give it a little taste test. We've got one of these huge straws for the boba. This is just a fun treat where we're shopping on the cheap for Disney products. Oh wow. Oh wow, they're like raspberry bobas. Mm. Those are delicious. It's delicious. It's very refreshing and it's not sour and it's kind of fun. They just pop really fast. It's not like a gelatin boba. It's sort of just like a raspberry filled little ball. Hmm. Hmm. It's wonderful. I'll give it a 10 out of 10. Now I'm just having a little Chick-fil-A break. I would have to say I found some cute Disney stuff at Ross and it was really awesome, but I didn't find things that were like heartfelt, like singing to me, um, like the Aristocat one. Um, I would say I saw like Ratatouille, Stitch, um, a bunch of Mickey ones, a mini sweatshirt, which didn't quite go with like the Star Wars day outfit that I'm trying to find for. Um, I just need like a sweatshirt for that night. Uh, the Aristocat one, I'm going to pair with like this cute Disney era shirt. I'll show you that later. So overall, um, great savings. Definitely always check out Ross, all of their stuff, their accessories, their kids clothes, and the adult section for um, super cute Disney tops and accessories. 
Uh, who knew I'd be talking so much about drinks, but the frozen lemonade at Chick-fil-A is our absolute favorite, and I can't wait to have it. Um, I never really splurge on fast food. It's not like my thing to do, uh, but it just feels kind of fun. It feels like, oh, it's summertime, and I'm at Chick-fil-A. Loving it. Okay, here it is. The fave. Mmm. Mmm. This is so scrumptious. Okay, really quick, I have a beauty tip for you. Okay, so I just got this lipstick recently. This is just a little beauty tip um, before we start packing. Uh, it's called Peach Thrill. Anyway, you put it on. Put it on. It takes a second to kind of dry, and then it's like perfect. But it's also like um, blush looks really silly I know but you just rub it in it just kind of gives you that sun quenched look anyway I thought this would be kind of cool because then you can just kind of double up and have blush and lipstick and kind of just look sun sun quenched and pretty and just look pretty in the sunshine kind of give you a little extra color it's peachy um for the parks so just a little beauty tip I'll link it below so let's talk about packing for our Disney trip now, since this is the longest trip that we've gone on, I am determined to pack us really lightly and really condensed in a way that like makes total sense and is so organized so that we can just like transfer hotels because we're going to be changing hotels and whatnot, um, having pool time, going to the parks a whole bunch. Um, I just want to be like totally ready and I don't want to get out that brass cart that we always have to take that's like huge and maybe we don't have the bellman to help us. So. The, the goal of this trip is to make my husband's dreams come true and pack us in these weekend duffel bags that we got so that everything's easy, like that in a purse and like one other small bag or something. So I found the solution for that. On my Amazon store, you can shop these. Uh, it's a 10 pack packing cube in various sizes. Um, and it comes with like all the little compartments, uh, most of which have like mesh liners so that you can see through them so that you can pick your outfits and have them like by day, organized by day. There's larger compartments so you can, you know, put your dresses in here and any bulkier items like sweatshirts and jackets and stuff can go in those. I got a pink set for me and a cream set for my daughter to match her black duffel bag but unfortunately the pink duffel bag that I got which is also linked in my Amazon store doesn't quite match the pink of my little cubes and I'm really anal about stuff like that so it kind of bugs me so in the future I probably will be changing my color cube to cream or black I know I'm crazy but that's what I'm gonna do. So let me show you how all that stuff can be packed um, so nicely and tightly. And it's just gonna be nice to be like, that's my outfit for Disneyland. That's my outfit for California Adventure. That's my pool stuff. Those are my mini ears. You'll see, it's just gonna make a lot of sense and it's gonna be really nice. So let's get to it. So this is the weekend bag that I got. It's like a cute little duffel bag. I still haven't taken the plastic off because I'm trying to keep it all nice. Um, this is like faux leather straps, whatever. Um, it's pretty roomy in here. It's not super big, but it's enough. And I think if I have, again, the compartments and the packing cubes that it'll make it like nice and, and orderly inside and I'll get a lot more in the bag probably. It has the nice strap. It has some pockets and this cute kind of stripe lining. And you can kind of hear it, it's like that stiff fabric on the inside, but I think they do that in case you spill stuff and you want to wipe it out or whatever. And then it has like inner, and then it has like inner pockets and like a mesh side. So anyways, oh yeah. And then the other really cool fact, the other really cool aspect of this bag is that the whole bottom has this huge compartment. So this could be for shoes or it could be for a big jacket, or even um, like a whole separate thing, like all of the accessories could go down there, or my um, toiletries, something of that nature. So just 
this is on my Amazon store if you want to shop it. My daughter has a really cute black one, kind of along the same lines. It's got a strap. Hers is a little bigger inside. We actually got this one at Walmart, and again, it has the bottom compartment for shoes or whatnot too. Um, and hers is gonna go with the cream cubes like I talked about. So, let's pack it up. So this little compartment I thought would be cute for mini ears. It has like, it's kind of deep and it has a zipper. And then I thought, well, I'm going to be picking out ears. I always take at least like three pair. And then typically we get one new pair a trip. So just bringing some favorites. This one I loved, but at the same time it was a little bulky. And this I've worn too many times. So I feel like it's gonna be this one, which is new. This was a gift from a friend and I love this. So this is for sure gonna be worn. And then I'll bring a couple of these extras. I definitely will buy a pair while I'm there. So I was thinking I could just stack them in this cute little compartment. Yeah, they fit so nicely in there and zip it up and have it closed and it has a little handle. So this is gonna be for mini ears, which is so darling. This little zipper pouch, like it kind of seems useless to me. Like I'm not really even sure what to do with this because I already have tons of stuff for my toiletries. And this came with another toiletry accessory. So I was thinking maybe I would put my mini fans in here and Willow can have hers in her own compartment. And we can put our magic bands. We can put our magic bands in here, although this time we're not doing Genie Plus, so I kind of feel like I don't even know if we really need these except to do like fun bounty hunting and like Galaxy's Edge or something. I guess I'll bring them or have things light up. Uh, I feel like when you go multiple days at Disney, you don't necessarily need Genie Plus as long as you strategize really good. And then I have this like ring light that attaches to a phone, which I've always wondered if I should bring it at night and like gussy up my photos, brighten up my photos at night when I'm doing like parades and fireworks and stuff. So I might bring that along too. So hopefully all of that can fit in this little compartment. This is one of my other fave gadgets and I'm gonna link all this stuff in my Amazon store. It should already be in there from last year. But this is a waterproof case and it comes with like a little strap. Um, I don't use this underwater. I don't really trust that it's gonna actually be waterproof with my phone. I wouldn't take that risk. However, it's so great if you want a video on like a safe ride, not a roller coaster or whatever. Um, and you just don't wanna worry about dropping your phone and you don't need any audio. You don't need like any dialogue because it usually muffles the sound. But this is great if you just wanna get some cool footage and like voice over and like put music over it later. And then you don't have to worry about losing your phone. All that stuff tucked neatly in here for one person because obviously Willow's gonna have her own set of all that stuff in hers. Um, so this works out great. And then again, a lot of this is gonna get pulled and put into my lounge fly anyways. But this is nice just for packing in the general weekend bag. Also, don't forget all the chargers that go with this stuff too, and that hopefully can squeeze in there. Um, my lounge fly is gonna be like my purse for the weekend. I have a Sleeping Beauty style that I absolutely love. Um, so anyway, this is gonna be like my purse for the whole weekend, so I'm taking that with me, and then I'll just have like a pool purse or separate bag too that I can change into so I don't have to take this down to the pool because I wouldn't want it to get damaged. So this is the sweatshirt that I got from Ross that I absolutely love. It's super soft and actually from Disney and it was $14.99. And this is the reason I'm absolutely obsessed with looking at Ross first because I would have paid probably close to $60 for this if I was at the parks. But why do I need to do that? I don't. And then I have this so I can pack it, the cute outfit that I have planned for it, and I'm all set and ready to go. Thanks for shopping at Ross with me. Super excited because I actually still fit in my jean shorts that I wore the last two years. So I am gonna just be wearing these again and the darker color. So those are really easy to pair with um, a cute t-shirt for the parts. And speaking of, I got for my husband and I, which he's really hard to match with, 
but he let me do this and I think it's because we're spending a lot of time in Star Wars land. We're going to Oga's Cantina. We're going to be eating dinner over there, etc. So he's really excited about it and we have something special coming for him for a late belated Father's Day present from Shop Disney and I will show you that later. Uh, so this is super cute and these are actually from the Valentine's collection but I just love it. So it's I love you and Leia, you know Leia and Solo have this like kind of like weird relationship in the beginning in the first couple movies where there's a lot of tension and whatnot and then he's like I know and the whole time he knows that she loves him but she never says it or really even acts like she does but she totally does. So anyway that's like what the joke is and I thought it would be cute for photo ops in Star Wars land and it's just I love that romance. Um, so one of the outfits for me is going to be this I Love You Leia shirt with these super cute little jean shorts and I was hoping to find maybe a Star Wars um, sweatshirt to go over it. So that is going to get its own cube, little packing cube. So I will fold this up and put in the little packing cube. I would also put like my socks in there and the sweatshirt that it's going to go with and then I'll be set and that will be one outfit for one day at Disney. That's how I'm organizing my bag this year. I've also been buying like some kind of like weird yet cool frilly bathing suits and stuff from Amazon again in my store if you want to check it out but the frilly like shoulders on this were so cute to die for for me like I love like romantic styles it's almost like it's like a bikini but it has this middle part and the um, the bottoms are actually like very vintage style like wide and like high and then the back like laces up and I just thought this was so adorable mainly because it comes with this amazing skirt like look at this thing it's like so much flow and it's sheer and it's so beautiful so I'm also getting a white bathing suit that has some mesh I'll show it to you later too I'm gonna pair that with this and wear that down to the pool as like my cover. I don't know if I'm gonna brave this or not. This might just be like, maybe someday if I'm at the lake and I'm kind of near, just alone with my family or something. I don't know if I can brave this one. But I have other bathing suits that I got from Beach Sissy and from Amazon. So I will link all that stuff below. But again, this is like the cutest cover skirt, cover up skirt. And then I also got from Ross, thank you. This beautiful little pom-pom beachy cover. And I don't think it has ties. Yeah, it does have ties. So I plan to wear that with this blue bathing suit that I got from Beach Sissy, which I'll share with you. I'm going to be packing all the bathing suit stuff in one of the larger compartments. I'm just gonna roll it all in there and I'll have every single swimsuit and all the covers in there. Now, as for dresses, we're going to California Adventure for like a half day on July 4th, and I thought it would be fun to wear an actual dress. And this is like so cute. I feel like if I paired it with something red, I don't know. It just looks kind of 4th of July-esque to me. Um, love the bow, and there's like a cutout in the middle. This is also from Ross. It's like $12.99. Um, it has like a decent slip inside, so I just have to worry about getting like a little tank for right here. But I think I'm gonna wear this dress and probably just like a red, white, and blue like American flag headband or something. I actually won't wear ears this time. And one of the other things that I'm really excited about and I talked about this on my Instagram, which I'm on there every day, Mini Me Fairy Tale, if you want to check it out. I got these matching outfits from Marshalls. So it's like this maxi dress that came with a hat. It's very tropical. And then this adorable like little top for my daughter with these pants. And I just thought, this is so cute, you guys. So cute, it's like a crop top with like a frilly sleeve. 
and it comes with a little purse that matches the hat that mom has. So I'm hoping that we can wear this like around um, either, I was thinking we could wear this when we show up at the Disneyland Hotel and we have our pool time, or if she wants to, we could wear it to California Adventure. So this would all be packed. Probably I will just pack this together since it's matching in one of the packing cubes in my bag. And then I got her an Aristocat shirt um, and we got um, her father a really cute Hawaiian um, Boba Fett shirt. So that is another outfit and I have a Disney, this Disney era top that's coming and I figure if we're not matchy matchy then we at least match our colors. So. If we're cream, then they're wearing something kind of creamy too, and then we all just kind of flow. So, let me show you how this is all gonna pack up, and now you know kind of some of the things I like to do to save money and how to pack it up. And then also, one last thing, I just got these shoes. They're getting a little dirty because I'm wearing them like every single day of my life. That's a dirty one, let's see, is this better? I'm in love with these shoes. I'm gonna link them below. Uh, it's sort of a wide sole. Or the bottoms are pretty wide. I feel like it feels like you're in a platform, but you're not. It's actually super secure and very comfortable. And I also put like a little pad in there, a little like arch sole in there. So to help, I highly recommend these. These are going to be my Disney shoes for at least two days. And I, I don't really like to not wear um, a tennis shoe to Disneyland. So I highly recommend that you get tennis shoes that you think are cute because it's really important. So those are my tips for you. The general look of the bag is this, which is so exciting. So I have gadgets, the mini ears, the pool bag, one outfit cube, another outfit cube, um, a dress outfit for the parks, the matching outfit for like downtown Disney and going to the Disneyland hotel where we're just doing pool time. This is the toiletry bag that condenses and a shoe bag. And again, I'll probably have another shoe to go with that. And then my purse that I'm carrying and bringing an extra hat. But if all of this can fit in the weekend bag, then I am sitting pretty. Let's just try and get it in there. Okay, I'm proud to say that it did all fit in the weekend bag. Check it out. It's pretty cool. Um, it's not too heavy. It's nice with this strap. But since I do like to pack and pack a lot, um, I would like to have a pool bag that's separate, especially because we're checking in early to um, the Disneyland Hotel at like 10 in the morning and we're gonna use the Bellman service. So I will need a pool bag that's accessible. So I will have a separate pool bag instead of putting it on the bottom of this. And then I would also like to have my toiletries in a separate bag. So just those two things added to my weekender. It's not too much to ask. I think it should be pretty light and pretty simple. Love packing in the cubes. It makes such a difference and I honestly think I might order a set that's just cubes, the smaller ones, so that I can have all of the outfits in the smaller cubes. Um, if I were going like on a longer trip, that's what I would want for sure. So, so cute. I love it.
I'm telling you guys it's all about this sweatshirt. It's so cute. I'm going to have to go back to this Ross because I went to different locations. And I'm going to have to look for one in an extra small for my daughter because this is just too good to be true. It's too cute.